So we decided as a family to buy a minibus that we're going to convert into a family camper van. Hi guys, I'm Kara. welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you why we bought a bus that we're going to convert into a camper van. I'm also going to be giving you the a little bit of plans of what we're going to actually do with it um, so that it will be a family camper van. So it's definitely going to be big enough for the three of us at the moment with Ben and also have the ability to add future children and also the ability to go away with other people. So we actually bought the camper with my brother and his girlfriend and my mum my stepdad but obviously won't be able to all go away in it at the same time but we will be able to hopefully at least for example us and my brother be able to use it at the same time if we want okay so we do have two seats in the front and then we have the driver's seat and then the plan is that these front two seats stay in the car the boys are also going to start the renovation process today and actually start removing some seats and really kind of measuring and planning everything out. So this is also something I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on this channel about the progress of the renovation. So please make sure you subscribe if you're not already if you want to see what we're doing. What is it Ben? What are you in? The mini bus. The mini bus? And what are we going to do with the mini bus? We're going to drive it to our house uh -huh. and are we going to turn it into something? Turn it into a tent. Turn it into a tent? Yeah, kind of. We thought that if we shared it as a family, it means that the cost is lower for everything from the actual cost of buying it to the insurance and even, for example, that if we're going to France on holiday, one, um, one family could drive it down and then have the holiday there and then the others could fly out, take over the camper van and the first family could fly back so that the actual long journeys could also be reduced by this idea of sharing a camper van. So we looked at actually buying campers and we did work out that the best option, not only for the cheapest option, but also the way to work, make sure that we get what we want was to convert something. And just yesterday, the boys picked up this, which is our family minibus, which will become a camper van. And here's what the bus looks like for now. Up there. Oh, okay. Fit it in. In the noise bed. In the main. In the noise bed. Hi. <laughs> Do you fit in there or is it too small? I fit there. <laughs> In the winter of 2019, Thomas and I actually spent six weeks with Ben in a camper van travelling around New Zealand. So Ben was around 16 months old. We did really enjoy it and that kind of definitely gave us the idea of getting a camper van and really enjoying that way of travelling. We do think that it will be particularly awesome to have here in Scotland because we really enjoy spending time in the mountains and to do that we do do a lot of camping. Our camping trips with a little one are normally limited to around three or four days but with the added comfort of the camper we hope that we'll be able to go away for a week or two at a time and really explore. So first step in the renovation is just to strip the van, taking out the seats, taking off all the walls because we're going to have to insulate before we actually start to build it back up again. The minibus that we decided to go for is a Citroen Relay. We were also looking at Fiat Ducatos and Peugeot Boxers. Um, we were looking at these three because they are wider, so Thomas will actually be able to lie widthwise across the back on a bed. We were looking at vans and minibuses, but in the end we went for the minibus because it did already have seats in it and we were looking to have more than just the three seats in the front. It also already has windows, although they are single glazed, so we're going to have to look at how we um, make them a little bit warmer too. It was a good price. Also, they have not as many miles as work vans tend to, and this one especially has been particularly well looked after because it was previously owned by a school. The seats that we've taken out, we are also going to put on a Facebook Marketplace and see if anyone's interested in them too. So with an empty van, it was time to measure and plan. We looked at the possibility of flipping the seats at the front and also trying to work out where we're going to have our bed, a seating area, a kitchen. was actually so much quicker and it's so much easier than we thought it would be but now it's time for the planning process. Now we have found some really useful sites and tools to help us do this. 
One site that has been particularly useful when it's come to doing research is a website called Parked in Paradise. So this has been wonderful for finding out, for example, about insulation or just making you think about things that you might not have thought about. So for example, making sure that your van is really balanced. So you might want to have your fridge and your water tank on opposite sides. And then there are fantastic Facebook groups for this. So my brother's girlfriend actually found a group called Self Build Camper Vans and there you can do loads of research because there are so many people who've posted and asked questions. And then obviously you can also post and ask things. So we were unsure about um, turning the seats in the camper van to go the other way and changing the layout slightly. So we posted asking for advice from people and that has been super useful. And when it came to actually planning what the van will look like inside, Thomas found a fantastic software to do this. For planning and designing the inside, we used a software called SketchUp, which is free to download and free to use on the web. And the great thing is that you can already download other camper conversions people did and therefore get the exact inside measurements and the 3D model of the van. I watched a short tutorial and maybe fiddled around with it for an hour and then already had the bed in, the kitchen units in, the benches, the additional seats. With the measuring tool it's also super easy to get the exact dimensions of all your furniture right and have a good overview how much space you have left and how it will actually look in 3D. So as you can see from Thomas's 3D drawing, this is what we hope that our camper will look like from a layout point of view. So we'll have two seats at the front which are rear facing and a kitchen area to the back of that. We'll also have a little seating area and then at the back a double bed. We also plan to have some high storage in little boxes above the windows. The bed itself will be static so it won't be folded down and that means we can have lots of storage underneath it in drawers. The table will also be pulled out from under the bed so it can be folded away and that seating area will also be becoming a single bed so we'll have the ability to put a kind of plank in between that, those two seats. Obviously this is subject to change as we go along and we find out what's easy to do and what's not. And of course the part that I'm most excited about is the interior layout and design and Pinterest is a fantastic place to go for inspiration. We've all been spending hours just looking through and getting ideas. So as I mentioned before, I will be keeping you updated on this channel with how our conversion is going and then we cannot wait to use it for family travelling adventures. If you have any advice to share on converting a camper, any sites that you know of, if you've done it yourself, I would absolutely love to hear from you below in the comments. It is a big challenge that we've taken on. We're all pretty good with DIY, but this is certainly something new and something very different. So all tips are so appreciated. Please give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you've not already and would like to follow along with us. And I hope that you'll join me again in another video. Bye bye.